Hi, everyone. My name is Chris Sprague from Persimmon Health. I am a serial entrepreneur working on healthcare technology that helps more people access better quality of care. This podcast is for the movement of innovators, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders that are advancing the American healthcare system through digital health. In this podcast, we highlight real stories of innovators and enablers of digital health, their opportunities, challenges, and learnings for innovation. We'll cover topics such as startup building and fundraising, entrepreneurship, emerging technologies, and big ideas to transform healthcare. We invite you to participate in this community, share your stories, and accelerate the movement. Thank you. We have an awesome pod. Enjoy. Hey, Hugh. How are you doing? I'm good, Mr. Bamal. Good to see you today. Good to Welcome see you, Welcome to, do- to my domicile. <laughs> uh, aren't we living in the internet these days? Yeah, indeed. Uh, thank goodness for Zoom, or else we'd never see each other. I like, right. your, I like your headsets. You look like you're uh, ready for something space age. <laughs> I like this one. This is no- noise canceling one, and I, uh, sometimes it's helpful. But otherwise, after I moved to this uh, suburb of Boston, I, there are rarely any noises. Before, I used to live in near the city, and there was always uh, commuter rails and uh, you know vehicles honking and all the, all this you know fire fire truck sirens and all of those things. That I needed one, and also it's uh, I don't think it cancels out the noise from the background while I throw through the mic though. Yeah, I know. I got uh, kids yelling and screaming, you know, running through the house, uh, dogs barking. Yeah, I feel your pain. <laughs> So yeah, I think uh, Vibe is coming up. Uh, I think it's next last next week Sunday, and I was wondering, you have been to so many of these conferences in your, you know, uh, in in your experience. Like, how is Vibe di- Vibe different? What excites your Vibe, and like, how are you preparing for Vibe? So love to know, love to understand your experience and your point of view. Hang on a second. I got one of those interruptions right now. Sit tight. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what it was, but I couldn't, couldn't even hear you. Uh, yeah, Vive, Vive is, is, is a really good meeting. Uh, last year, we went to, to Vive and Health, HLTH, and they had the same flavor. Uh, Vive, I liked even better. I mean, last year it was in Miami, and... Um, it wasn't that big, you know, over time I've gone to, you know, Becker's and uh, Chime and, and Hymns, all great meetings for, for different reasons. But Vibe was nice because it was, it was focused on innovation, acceleration. Um, it had investors there. Uh, it uh, had a big focus on startups uh, with like Startup Health, you know, Rock Health. I mean, all of that, uh, Cedar sinai Innovation Group, United Innovation, uh, UNC Innovation. Um, so, so the flavor and the energy of it all was, was just amazing. Um, and that was uh, health by extension was similar to that, but, but a a fair amount bigger, but we had great success. I mean, uh, persimmon itself probably had 150 leads, you know, I Mm want to say all of which were, were very fruitful in either, you know, building our business or building our community at persimmon, Mm -hmm. which is, Mm -hmm. you know investors, innovators, incubators, accelerators, startup companies, you know, anywhere from, you know, angel and seed to series A and B. So no, it's, it's a good one. And, and I'm excited this year it's in Nashville because Nashville is a great town, you know, it's just, uh, and it's not far from Atlanta, which is, I could actually drive up there. Oh, that's awesome. Like <laughs> how long is the drive for you? It's about three hours. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's going to be easy. And that's not too far. No. All right. Let me double, double click on something. You just mentioned that uh, Persimmon had, uh, we had like 150 leads coming out of Vive. And that's a great outcome. So now what I want to know from you is, so that's the outcome. And I'm sure that must have been a lot of work because I know that. But I want you to spell it for uh, our audience that what was the hard work that went into before Vive? 
uh, during the vibe and after vibe to crystallize that 150 leads. Yeah, it's almost like building a product, you know, just acclimating to to what the market wants, what the market needs, you know, what the competition is, who's attending, uh, and in comes, you know, the product design. Who are we? You know, what's going to be our message? Why are we there? Uh, but also the marketing of it. You know, how are we going to pre-market and what are we going to look like when we get there? So uh, thank goodness. I mean, Persimmon Health is at, at the very at the very core of product engineering company. And we're used to building teams and doing sprints and, and building mm -hmm. up to five then and now has been a sprint where, where we were like, OK, great. Who's attending? Um, who, who cares about who we are? By the way, who are we? What are we trying to portray? That being, you know, product engineers that, that build amazing products. And we focus on digital health. So that means we're really good at understanding the market of uh, being innovators from the napkin stage to design to prototype to MVP as well as team augmentation for, you know, we are your product team, uh, front end to back end, uh, full services. So a lot goes into that. Um, it's, it's, you get into this, you know, what's better? Are we just going to ride LinkedIn really hard, which we do? Are we going to utilize the, um, the Vive uh, platform, which which we do, uh, and what does an email campaign look like, wh which which we do, and uh, you, you know everybody knows the science of emails. You could send out a thousand, two thousand, uh, get a decent open rate, but you know maybe ten responses. So uh, the science of of building out the right message that that pe that will resonate with people, uh, and trying to figure out okay, you know. You know what is what is their role? I mean, are they a CTO or product manager? Are they founders? Are they CEOs? I think everybody cares, but but you know it's all it's all about me. You know what's going to resonate with me. So sending out you know um, emails is 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 tough. You know I think it's good for branding, market recognition of who we are, but but actually you know setting up meetings is is tough doing that. Um, so, so it's heavy lifting and we have a great team that does that. Awesome. So what I want to double click on is, you know, so last year I understand there were 5,000 attendees and I'm sure this year is much more than that. And now I'm the comparing with, you know, building a product, as you said, you know, you can build product for everyone. You have to break for a specific course or a specific segment, especially in the early days of it. Now, what's the process uh, to do that exercise of, okay, this is the target market I want to reach out to. This is not the market I want to, I don't reach out to. You know, how do you sip through the, uh, you know, signal to signal from those, all of those noises? Any tips on that? Oh, wow. It, that's, you know, in our case, that, that's, that's really hard because, mm -hmm. um, okay, defining who we are also includes as to, who out of all these companies will, will it resonate? And, uh, you know, we use Crunchbase, uh, we use HubSpot to curate and control and message. And uh, so we have, we have tools that do that to, to try to narrow the focus. Um, a lot of it is cross triangulation of like who's attending, who are they, what are their, their sectors. The thing, the thing with Persimmon Health as an example is we can, we can do anything from uh, you know, pharma to health systems to care navigation tools to, you know, digital therapeutics. So we, we cross, cross, we're all in healthcare, but we cross over all those verticals. So, um, you know, we're, we, we, we can serve all of those companies, which, which actually makes, makes it hard for us. Mm -hmm. And, and all of those companies, whether they know it or not, uh, could use you know product expertise that we have no matter no matter what stage of the journey they're at you know they need teams to move mm -hmm. faster even if they're series B or mm -hmm. if they're just starting off and they need uh, somebody for design and prototype so um, it's 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 tough and we've got a good team uh, product of, uh, business development team that that uh, is really good with Excel sheets to be honest with you. And, and you know, going out and, and messaging those people prior, um, you know, what I would add to that is, 
you know, uh, the collateral it takes too as to, to the branding. Like our, our booths, I thought were pretty good. And I love that Vive and Health both have the branded booths. Um, mm-hmm. This year we're so busy. We're not bringing a large team. Uh, and we don't have a booth, frankly, but we are interested in the right kind of collateral. You know, who mm-hmm. are we and why should it resonate with everybody? And we can't be all things to all people, but I tell you what, at, at Vive, we are, you know, it's an, it's a crowd that appreciates an innovative team and that understands healthcare, that is, that is purpose built for healthcare to get up and, and, you know, uh, with expertise, move at speed to deliver product. Awesome. And I think, uh, you brought in a very interesting point about collateral, you know, I mean, talk about going to conferences, people talk about collaterals, people write goodies, people talk about you know, swags, and so on and so forth, right? And I think all of those things are important, but especially like, and depending on what stage of the company you are in, what budget you have, right? What was the thought process behind, okay, what swags to take, what goodies to take, or what collaterals to build? Could you explain that and what did we, you ultimately, uh, ultimately, you know, decided on taking it home and why that? And I'm asking that as if I don't know all of the answer to all of those things, but I, I already know answers to all of those things. But, you know, is this right. spell out loud for our audience? Yeah, so, so right. Do, do you, uh, you know, give away bottles of beer? Uh, you know, do you offer coffee? <laughs> do you, you make, you know, really cool swag, you know, trips to Kauai, Hawaii, you know, wh- whatever. Um, you know, we, you know, it's really funny is, is we got a big, big basket of mints and, yeah. and we didn't even put it in a spe- anything special outside of the, the jar it came in. And that was a big hit for bringing people in, to be honest with you, as, as was the, the branding that in the Viosks and or, you know, larger booths. I mean, we really had fun with that because we're able to brand, you know, similar to the way our website looks and the way our collateral looks. But but no, uh, like the way we look at it from a marketing standpoint, it's it's you know serving our community. Uh, so so the collateral this year is is on one side, you know, just just showing uh, how important the community is is to us from founders and investors and uh, you know anywhere from an angel investor to founder of a larger larger company, you know, understanding their journey. And understanding the impact it makes for healthcare. So, so the collateral is that. Let last year, we we went to great lengths to to curate all the data related to the people who are attending to put them into. Okay, here's all the folks that we think are in digital therapeutics. Here's all the folks that are in telehealth, and people seem to really appreciate that because it's you know it's about them, and that's what the collateral was around. Is like here's here's our view. It's kind of like the CB Insights type marketing. But um, uh, we enjoy doing that. It took a little time. It wasn't it wasn't easy, but people really appreciated it. So we did something similar this year, but related to the community that we built over the past year of investors and incubators and accelerators and catalysts. Awesome. I think I I, I can add a few things there. So especially my th- thought process beyond last year, I, well, you know, what collateral design was. Essentially, it comes down to what values that we have, right? As a team, the what value, the value that we really, really carry is that we want to, we want to be a givers, not takers. Takers, you know, we want to be very missionaries, not the mercenaries kind of people. And then, then for what not to bring, right? And it was like, okay, we are going there for the first time, and there a lot of people have there, you know, the swags, t-shirts, mugs, and whatnot, right? I think we really want to stand out. And if you do the same thing and try to stand out, it's going to take hell a lot of money to do that. And I think, and as going there the first time, let's not do that. Therefore, what is something that every attendee would find it valuable? And it was, all right, it seems like something is missing. Something like if there, if I was walking on the floor or there are start of companies out there, right? It's kind of a dispersed then how do I synth- synthesize that? Have a synth- you know synthesized point of uh, I- information, and which I would say, if there is a company A, what are the similar companies to B in that? For example, you said about digital therapeutics, right? If there is company A and digital therapeutics, what other companies are there? It seems like kind of difficult to navigate that. 
Uh, and we were like, oh, why don't we actually bring, bring a inf create, an in create an infographic which is going to synthesize all the information in a very nice, visually pleasing infographics. And kid you not, and that was a huge hit. And I saw people just taking it, people sharing, tweeting about it, people, you know, like carrying a internet, carrying, like folding it, keeping it in a bucket and taking them away. And that was, a, uh, and that's what, like, uh, it was, like, to all of those who are listening to you, right? Yes, those swaps are important. I think the squeeze balls and all of those things, right? Uh, I take them because it's exciting to take them. But as soon as I come home, I throw them away. I don't know, it's nice. It yeah. doesn't have that you know, long-term value. Whereas something, if we can create something of long-term value, that would be really, really interesting that people can take home. Uh, and that would be really interesting. I think and we that should. Was uh, I think next year we should uh, uh, give away shoe inserts. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because unless you have really super thick carpeted uh, booths, man, yeah. my feet start to hurt like crazy. So shoe inserts and uh, Red Bull. Would be another one. <laughs> and, <laughs> because I'm, think, okay. I'm thinking, like in preparation for this thing, it, it's like, okay, how could I? Do, should I sleep for the for, uh, for three days before I go, or should I should I not sleep to prepare myself and and uh, drink a lot or something so my liver is ready for <laughs> for the parties at night? I don't know. <laughs> No, so yeah, now I think much more <laughs> let's <laughs> let's talk about I think you, you like it's the right time to segue into what to do during during right I think for me I, I can start with my sharing my for me it was for the first time it was a bit of overwhelming it was very big it was like a lot of people there a lot of people moving around there are a lot of booths right all around how do I navigate that that's first first one of one one question is that during that time. And second thing is, you know, it's like running a marathon, right? I think for three or four days, uh, we can't be sprinting, sprinting, sprinting and gas out very soon. And how do you, you know, uh, manage the energy so that uh, you can make those all of those three days or three and a half days very productive? So... I'm a little old school um, in a sense that like I try and get um, the first person there like and I try and try and create as many uh, scheduled visits as I possibly can of those folks who we do curate who really are a good fit. So like I know that I got something at 10, I get something at two, I get something at three, I get something at four. And that includes all the uh, round tables and presentations and other things mm -hmm. that are that are also so important to, to meet the thought leaders and all. So. It, you know, it's a lot to do and to schedule, but I think you mentioned uh, that you need to leave time for serendipity. And I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, yeah. Because yeah, as you walk around booth to booth or, or you go to, to the many scheduled uh, social events, that's, that's when you really get into, wow, you do this. This is so interesting. Tell me about it. And I think, I think the serendipity of going to, to the right presentations that are, that are, uh, poignant for for what you do, and uh, you know, trying trying to create opportunities to meet these thought leaders, uh, create partnerships with some of the other organizations. Um, it's 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 really important. It's exhausting, you know. It's it's three days of go go go, uh, but I love it. I, I really do. So so I get there early and I stay late. You know, to me, it's it's. Um, being on the floor all day from like eight, eight to five or so, uh, taking breaks. Uh, but then, you know, being ready to go at night too, to be honest with you, you know, from, from six, seven to, to 11 at night, but also taking, you know, enough time to stick my head outside and get a little fresh air, uh, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, meet people, you know, outside of the exhibit hall for, for a cup of coffee. Uh, I think that that's helpful as well, just to kind of get it, get away, sit down for a little while and, and have a meaningful conversation with somebody. And that's, that's, that's awesome. I think, so how does that differ when you're going alone versus when you're going to a team? You know, how do you divide and conquer? So could you just uh, uh, elaborate on that dividing and conquering part as well? Yeah, good question. Um, <clears throat> when alone, yeah, you're just, you're, you're, you're probably moving a little bit quicker. Uh, and when you're manning a booth, that's a little bit different too. So having a team is key. You know, you want to have somebody out there 
moving around, uh, checking out all the booths, uh, attending uh, what uh, presentations we think are good, uh, round tables, thought leaders. Um, but um, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's about scheduling and, and managing you know, people who are, are, are good at what they do. So, you know, last year we had Chris, our CEO, we had yourself, who's so awesome at innovation and product consulting and all of that. And we also at Health had like one of our principals, who's, who's just an incredible entrepreneur and uh, thought leader uh, in, uh, from a tech side himself. And I think we did a nice job of, of uh, manning the booth and getting people out on the floor. And because mm-hmm. uh, uh, I, if I say, could say anything about Health and Vive, is that it is super collaborative and and everybody no matter what level of leadership they're in is they 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 too love the collaboration and the innovation and the commitment to healthcare healthcare transformation is 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 palpable i mean you can taste it it's just fantastic and um i would say that that um uh it's it really defines why vive is so good you know, is everybody's commitment to healthcare transformation, digital health transformation, and just innovation. Um, it's not an easy task. Healthcare is a super <laughs> big challenge. So um, you can, you just see that from meeting to meeting to meeting, the excitement and the commitment all the folks have to, you know, meeting mm-hmm. people and having fun. <laughs> having and, fun, and, I yeah. think, yeah. I have a few things to add there, especially when you talk about serendipity, right? I think uh, big things in life will happen through serendipity. A few things I try to do myself is not to go for a lunch or tea, tea or coffee or something like that with with my own teammate. I sure I go alone so that like you, I I have to talk to someone who are who is. So people feel sorry <laughs> for you and talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that, that may be one of one of those things. But however, like for example, you go to a, go go for a lunch and you're lining up and you're somebody behind you. And if you go with your teammate, you are just conversation with having conversation with teammate. But you are going alone. If you, I force myself to have conversation with somebody else, right? And then you, that's that sparks conversation. Especially I go when I go for for a, uh, for a speaker session. I, of course, in doing a speaker session, you can engage with another one. But I did go to the one of the lunch uh, sessions, speaker sessions followed by a lunch, and then in that scenario, and that was I was interested about age tech. So how the you know by uh, I was interested in a topic. I went there. And then when I was there, I listened to that conversation in a panel discussion and we were lining up queue. There was some common shared experience, a common topic to talk about. And I think that sparks spark a conversation as well, right? Not necessarily that may, uh, that, that may not be a direct deal per se, but again, a lot of the things that happen as we are building community, it happens through serendipity, through community, through relationship, and actually, like, those kind of serendipity encounter can can you know uh, <laughs> can spark different, very interesting conversation. Another example, and I was in a breakfast table. I think you were there as well, but 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 I was there before that, and there I met one gentleman, and and we started talking about, and we started asking where we were from. And then he, uh, I, I told him I'm from Nepal, and he was like, "Hey, mountains and all of those things," and started hitting off talking about that, uh, you know, <laughs> 14 peaks that came out last year on the documentary about it. So, right. and then, right? So yes, we are also there for work, but also we are also there to connect personal connections. And when like we go alone, try to come out of a comfort zone, we are already our comfort zone going into a big conference, but again, going up, adding a a step for going alone to these places where just can, you know, <laughs> spark I mean, different serendipitous encounters. I'll, I'll never, I'll never forget. Uh, like this is, this is the first, uh, day you and I met because like we actually yeah. met at five, right? Yeah. So, that's right. So down in Miami and it was like, Oh, this guy, hey, boom, how you doing? <laughs> Um, and, uh, you're like, so, so we were asking, we were kind of going through the same type of thing after kind of the, yeah. the big build up to vibe. It's like, so, so now yeah. what do we do? And we were at the, the welcome reception 
And I said, it's just, it's just like a, it's like a big party, you know, it's like a, it's like a wedding, you know? Yeah, and and yeah. you're right. If you're alone, you're kind of like, uh, you know, uncle, uh, uncle Stan in the corner there, like, well, let's go talk to him. You know, you, you kind of feel more inclined to speak to you perhaps. Um, <laughs> but, but I, no sooner did I say that it's kind of like a wedding. You just have to turn around and say, Hey, where are you from? You know, bride or the groom side, you know, whatever it is. I turn around, I go watch, and I turn around to a guy right behind me, and I shake his hand, and, he's, and I say, hey, where are you from? Remember, remember the guy? And, yeah. and he said, I'm from Nepal, originally. So I was like, oh, yeah. well, now that's serendipity. I, I, I'm all here from Nepal. I'd like to introduce you to that guy. Exactly. So, so, yeah. so right, I think, uh, therefore, going to the speaker events, going to, you know, uh, there's lunch sessions, going to this, and after parties, welcome parties, and beer sessions, and coffee meetups, and all of those things, right? Sometimes, uh, therefore, therefore, what I'm saying is, yes, schedule it, most of the things, but at the same time, you know, leave something for the serendipitous uh, uh, meetings as well. I don't know who who knows where will that serendipity t- will take you. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you, you know, net net, you have to you know, make sure everything is kind of, you know, yeah. ready to go from work, work standpoint. So you can yeah. really collaborate, socialize, engage, uh, you know, go to the meetings that intrigue you, go to the, go to the presentations that intrigue you. Uh, but, uh, definitely attend the networking things, uh, wear good yeah. shoes, <laughs> you know, uh, and, you know, and drink a lot of water, <laughs> drink a lot of water, get yeah. sleep where you can, you know, I, uh, you know, it's not a firm rule, but I try and say, okay, 11 o'clock, that's it. I got, I got to get some rest, you know. Yeah. Me too. Uh, and I have a habit of meditating and, you know, doing those conferences and your, uh, conferences, you know, actually my schedule goes out of whack, especially like in, in when we went to health. So it was three hours of, you know, uh, jet lag, right? Time difference because of the kind of a jet lag. It's kind of weird. Three hours of jet lag is kind of weird. In a way that, <laughs> so I wake up early in the morning to get the flight and then get there in the evening and then, you know, parties going on. Even if it's this 11 p.m. there, for me, it's a 2, 2 a.m. the next day for my body clock and just, I get really get tired. So for, if, but however, a lot of buzz and energy, I need to mentally sharp. I make sure I meditate morning and the evening. Right, even even five to ten minutes because uh, there a lot needs to be lost to be done because I usually do half an hour to an hour in morning and evening, but like in during those uh, times that you are short of time, but I make sure I do like five to ten minutes. It's just to you know after waking up and before going to bed so that this my I'm mentally clear and if that's a good practice to have, like I recommend folks doing it because. When there's a lot of noise, is you know, as I said earlier, sometimes I was noise and was signal. It's difficult to pass through, but the meditation helps to you know synchronize that. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need downtime. Uh, eat yeah. well. Uh, as hard as it is, try you know. You, oh, there's a donut. No, <laughs> you know, the sugar <laughs> and the sugar eyes and all. It's like okay, wait, stick with the proteins. You know, drink yeah. a lot of water. Uh, yeah, it's true. So now I think uh, one more thing which I want to cover is we covered before going to Vive or prep during during the, during the you know Vive that's meet people serendipity a lot of energy war right time man is divide and conquer now let's move on to the after Vive part because you know 150 you talk about I'm sure after Vive activities are crucial as well so could you like, walk me through what those activities are what the goals are and how do you you know uh, orchestrates those activities. It's a good point. I mean, that's a lot of, you know, curation uh, as well from the sales, business development, and the partnership level. You have to kind of sort through what's real and what isn't. And if you take copious notes and or, you know, you, you either have the the uh, lead system at Vive or you have your own lead system taking pictures, uh, whatever that is, uh, copious notes are key as to who you have to follow up with and how soon. In, in our case, it's, you know, product engineering, people who want to build products and they want to move fast yeah. and they're, they're first up. And as I mentioned, we, we had a lot of leads and they were all good. So they go into mm-hmm. hot, warm and or cold or partnership and or investors and or, you know, startup companies. So, so again, it's, it's a matter of uh, curating all that data 
uh, getting it into our CRM, uh, in our case, HubSpot, and uh, just doing a little follow-up, which uh, we had very, very rich follow-up following both Vive and Health. I mean, we're, we're mm-hmm. still in that process from, from both of those engagements, mm-hmm. uh, especially Health most recently. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's, it's exciting, all the friends, partnerships, and uh, customers that, that we've had come from Vive and Health. Mm-hmm. So um, it's it's important to us to nurture that, and that too is where even if they're not going to be buying from us in the near term, they become part of our community, and uh, mm-hmm. we have a podcast which I think is amazing. And um, staying in touch with thought leaders and building that community is very important to us because we're very committed to digital health transformation. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So I think what I figured out is. Uh, building communities yes you know when you meet a lot of people <laughs> at once i don't know for it may be different for other people for for me at at least right i tend to forget okay where did i meet this person who did i meet the person because i have met hundreds of people in the span of three days right so mm-hmm. it's really difficult for me to you know remember so what i do is uh, i take i take a picture and just take a take notes and then and there I kind of tag okay what is the you know level of urgency level of priority and all those things so that I don't I don't have to remember in the past and this equals to the like I we use hotspot and and then it and then the tracking system becomes really easy uh, and and then it gives me uh, some pointers to remember so then I'm then okay these are pointers that this person is related to this particular thing and this is why we talked about you know note taking and I think that discipline of note taking is crucial uh, after you know <laughs> after this uh, everything discipline note taking the curating then parsing out what's real and what's not real it sounds like all of these all of the things that we talked about and you told me it's like there is no magic to it. But it's just about, you know, it's about being very thorough, very disciplined, and it's about being, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, very, very disciplined. Yeah. Uh, discipline, yes. Uh, you know, defining who you are, you know, yeah. making sure your marketing, your message, how you are uniquely define yourself in the market, and then uh, aligning yourself with, you know, your your clients, your potential clients and, and partners. Uh there's yeah that that's that's heavy lifting for everybody you know trying trying to get that right and then uh bending over backwards to to uh get those meetings where you can mm-hmm. and then and then being tenacious in the follow up uh to, you know just just you know again you know we've talked about this it comes down to sales process you know engaging yeah. people creating a coach a champion Digging in deep as to where the fit is, you know, in our case, coming up with a solid proposal slash SOW that serves the client. You know, that that's that's our first product that we build for you is the SOW because we paint a picture as to architecture, timelines, cost, and, you know, realistically, you know, get you to a point in an MVP, as an example, where you can pilot. And then you then you really start to find out about yourself uh, as, as things change, features change, the architecture changes potentially, but it's fun and we love it and, and we're really good at it. So, yeah. And, uh, before we end this, are there any few final thoughts around, uh, choosing the booth, the shoes you wear, dresses that you wear, things that you must carry, right? All those things, you know, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great question. I'm thinking of that now. It's like, okay, backpack, of course. Do you bring your computer with you? Uh, you know, uh, if you have a booth, it's like, what do you leave in the booth? You move around. It's, you know, that's ad hoc. <laughs> it's it's crazy. You're, where, where do you pick your hotel? I would say pick your hotel early because they, mm-hmm. they sell out quickly. So in this case, mm-hmm. like I'm a mile away. So I'm going to be taking a lot of Ubers uh, just, <laughs> just to get there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of details, you know, flights yep. and the hotel and, you know, what to wear. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's all worth it. It's, it's, it's going to be fun and I'm looking forward to it. Once again, since it's in Nashville, Nashville is a pretty cool town. It's, it's going to be fun. I've never been to Nashville. I, what I know is it's the, uh, country, you know, music capital of the United States. 
country <laughs> music. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, man. Forward to it. So, so one thing that we, which we missed is about talking about digital presence and during the vibe. I think which we didn't do. I'm sure, like somebody who listened to it, who had done really well, can talk about digital presence and during the con conference, during the you know uh, the conference. I think uh, I wish somebody will do it, but I think we we missed to do that uh, because you know, and it's impossible to do it at times if you don't have someone who is actually focused on creating that digital presence, right? We are focused on meeting people. We are focused on being there. It's all of the you know physical stuff, but sometimes a digital presence can help you, uh, you know, sh short through who to meet, what what act where acting is going on, all of those things. And we missed that. I think maybe somebody from the community could talk about that. Yeah, that, that's a good point. I like that. Um, yeah, keep keeping the message alive uh, by yeah. using LinkedIn and using yeah. the uh, the digital platform is outstanding. Uh, yeah. Remembering, in my case, I got to remember like, hey, we should take a picture to document this and we could post it to, to LinkedIn because, you know, everybody's yeah. having fun and it's about collaboration. Yeah. So I need to do more of that. I got to remember to do, you know, document it. If for anybody, yep. for our team that works so hard building up in a right. sprint to, to, you know, how to go, how to go ahead, well, let me show you, you know, here's what the people who are meeting and the impact it's having and the speakers and, and all that. So, yeah, I, I think it's important. And I think Vibe, Vibe itself, you know, the folks who put together Vibe, they do a nice job of... Um, amazing. I think... Getting, uh, yeah. Last year, vibe. It was amazing. I loved everything. I loved the graphics of it. I loved the designs of it. I loved their, you know, the voice of it. I love, I, I know, yeah. I, I love everything, and I love, love, love Miami. I live in Boston. It was early March. I had to escape from the winter and get early <laughs> summer. <laughs> I think it was a nice, was nice for me. So it was vibe. So, however, I'm going to miss vibe this time around. And and my man, You're leave the vibe. Man. <laughs> I live the vibe. Yeah, yeah, outstanding. Right. Yeah, so thanks, yeah, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This is a great idea. You know, it's um, it's getting me ready to do what I need to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I think uh, really awesome. I think uh, so. All this digital health community podcast is all about that, right? I think uh, uh, all about that. And the innovation can happen alone. It has to happen in collaboration and for collaboration uh, it, and for also distribution and all of those things, community is super important. And that's what we uh, vouch for building it. And we spend our, and I must thank our team who does, you know, <laughs> a lot of hard work uh, in creating, producing a lot of this uh, content and podcast is not not a not an easy job to do this it goes out of work and we must thank that yeah. yeah but again i think uh also appreciate a lot of guests that comes comes come come to our podcast talk about their experiences candidly and also yeah. more yeah. importantly i think uh, all of our you know mission of you know, giving and a mission of creating this collaborative environment and mission of ultimately you know, changing healthcare for better. Absolutely. It's a good mission. It's worth doing. Yep. All right, my man. See you. Right. Later. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening to this podcast and being a part of this movement. This podcast is brought to you by Persimmon Health, an offering by Leapfrog Technology that's purpose built to help innovators imagine, build, and scale digital health products. We're passionate about fixing healthcare and have worked on over 50 digital health products. If you want to share your story or want to work together, please shoot an email to hello at persimmonhealth.com. Thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you on the next podcast.